previously on It's Me Chrissy. All right, just because, you know, just because you mess up or don't, don't achieve that goal, the major goal, the big picture, that doesn't mean the whole, your whole effort is, is, is washed away or no good. Get back up, try it again. Good morning, it's me Chrissy, and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the car, and I wanna talk. Can we talk? Okay. So, you know, I talked, we talked. We talked about, um, you know, getting back up and trying again and starting over or pick up where you left off. We talked about that in the last um, car talk video. But for a couple of seconds, well, not a couple of seconds, for a couple of minutes, I want to talk to y'all about the main issue. Let's just get down to what the problem is, who the problem is. Because you can have a who, but a lot of time the issue and the problem is a, a no. You can have a what, girl, get it right. You can have a what, or what an issue is, you know, but eight times out of ten I think it's a who issue so in saying that ladies and gentlemen sometimes the problems that we have and the issues we have we try to put them on somebody else don't we do it don't we do it but most of the most of the times the issue ain't other people a lot of a lot of the times the issue is our own self we stand in the way a lot of times hold on I stand, stand in the way a lot of times when we narrow down the culprit or the main cause of most of our issues I promise you that thing will turn around and be pointing right at you how I know that hold on let me take some of this light out because I've been the issue. I've been an issue. I've been my own issue a lot of times. Huh? I've been my own issue a lot of times. A lot of times the problem is me. Our co-pastor says this a lot. Have I heard her say that in a while? I don't know if I heard her say it in a while, but she used to say, and will probably tend to say, the issue is you. I'm gonna put that right there. The issue is you. We are the problem a lot of the times. And you know what? Truth be told, we try to put the issue on other people. Oh, yes, we do. We try to put our problem on somebody else like it's somebody else's fault. But you know what? If you really, really be truthful, it's you. The problem is you. We stand in the way of a lot of stuff. And we call it and say it's somebody else's fault. We put it on somebody else. But I, I'm telling you, if you just take the time to think about, journal it down, write it down, uh, write it down if you need to. The, it comes back to you. So whenever you start, whenever we start, we, whenever we start to um, just kind of really center in on why are we being, why are we so distracted? Why are we hindered? Why do we have slow progress? That ain't nobody's fault most of the time, but our own. How? We fail to do certain, we fail to do the order operations right. We want to do this, we want to get here, but we won't, don't want to do steps. You know, we want to get to Z, but we don't want to go through H. Why? Think about it. We don't want to take the necessary measures to get what we want. Okay, let's just do it like, let me say it like this. You have a prime goal in mind and you know you want to get to here, but there's a stumbling block in the way and it could be get your attitude straight, you know, humble down and do what that step requires you to do. But instead, you're going to put it on somebody else. Oh, they didn't let me. Oh, they don't like me. No, get out your feelings. And, and do what you got to do to get to your goal. You know, we have to humble ourselves down and um, and do what needs to be done. Okay? A lot of the time, our problems 
by ourselves. We hold ourselves back a whole lot. And if we want to grow, <laughs> you want to get to that goal, sis, bruh, we better do what we got to do to get there. Because, you know, there's some, there's, I mean, you don't just, some things just don't just fall into our hands or into our lap. We got to do some of the work. And if, if you're not seeing the results or seeing the manifestation of what you're, what you're looking for or whatever it is, check yourself. What you say? Check yourself. Well, I've been checking all month. I've been checking for a couple months. Woo! I've been checking for a few months. Because you know what I found out? My issue is me. Mm -hmm. My issue is me. And when you realize that the issue is you, maybe not the whole thing. But when you realize and recognize that some of the problem is within self, you can really do something about it if you want to. I said if you want to. Okay, I'm at work, y'all. Just want to do a little talking with y'all while I was sitting in the car. I'm getting to go to work, going in here to work, make this Friday count. And uh, y'all be good. If y'all want to talk about certain car talks or car, it don't have to be on my way to work. Look, I go park at the park for car talk. But if y'all want to talk about an issue or whatever, or not an issue, because I just said the issue is you. So you deal with that one, y'all. Oh, anyway, if y'all got a topic or a subject y'all want to speak on about car talk, y'all want somebody to come join me in the car and talk about something, inbox me, tell me. Or well, guess what? I might reach out to you to come join me and sit in my car. And we're going to talk about a few things. All right, so I'm getting ready to go to work. Y'all have a good day. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> That's so old. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's so old. Why you say that? Why are you like this? I don't know, girl. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to go to work. Have a good day.